Hi, welcome to Three Things Thursday with Robert Hertel. So I just got back from the Mike Ferry Superstar Retreat in Las Vegas and what an absolutely amazing event. I mean, 4,000 people fill the room at the Bellagio. The Bellagio, okay? Doesn't get much nicer than that, right? Absolutely unbelievable. Mike Ferry's up there for four days. Guy's in his early 70s, he's up there for four days, just giving it to us, energy, enthusiasm, unbelievable note after another. I mean, that's, that in itself is an inspiration. Totally well done. And the fact that you get to talk to 4,000 people in the real estate business, not only just from all across the United States, but Canada, a bunch of people from Italy. I mean, it was absolutely amazing to hear their mindsets and what's going on in their market and what they're doing in their business and where they came from and all these other different things. It was just unbelievable. Well worth the price of admission, far exceeds the price of admission from all the things you got from it. So what I'm gonna do over the next few weeks here on Three Things Thursday is go over some of my notes and thoughts from the Mike Ferry Superstar Retreat that I got out of it that I think real estate agents should implement in their business right away to help them grow their career, okay? So now, I could do Three Things Thursday on the Mike Ferry Superstar Retreat for the rest of the year, okay? I'm not gonna do that, we're gonna limit it to a few weeks and we're gonna stick to our pretty much basic time frame as far as what these videos go because I could go on for hours and hours and hours, but I know that you don't want to listen to me that long, okay? And as I said before, heck, I don't even want to listen to me that, that long. So, you know, we'll, we'll keep it within reason as normal, all right? But what I'm going to do today is Mike was making a lot of statements. Now, he went over certain topics, you know, pros versus amateurs and thinking big, thinking big portions of whole class on its own. But he was making a lot of really good, just sharp, pointed statements that maybe we've thought about before, but were worded differently. So what I'm going to do today is... I'm going to do a little bit bonus. Instead of three, I'm going to do five. And it's five statements that Mike made at the Superstar Retreat that really, really stuck with me. Maybe they stuck with me because of a personal experience, or maybe it was just the way it was said. But five statements that Mike said at Superstar Retreat that just really stuck with me that I brought back. I'm already implementing my business, and I think you should too. All right? So let's jump right into these. All right, number one is this. And they're not in any particular order as far as which one was more important than the other. It just just these five, all right? So don't look too much into that. But let's get into it. Number one is this. I love this one, okay? Because it made me laugh, but it's also true. You can't take time off if you don't do anything during time on. I thought that was great because here's the thing. We all love time off. I love time off. I love my vacations. And I look forward to that. But you can't take time off if you don't do anything during time on. You've got to work for those vacations. You've got to work for that time off. So it's just a great little reminder to have in our mentality. If you have your dream board, your vision board, or your goal set up, and there's a place you want to go, somewhere you want to visit, a vacation you want to take, remember, you can't get there if you're not working, right? You can't take time off if you don't do anything during time on. thought that was fantastic. Okay, next one is this. Absolutely phenomenal. Asking a lot of questions and being curious is the difference between making a fortune and just making a living. How powerful is that statement, right? I mean, I wrote that down, highlighted it, underlined it, started it, the whole thing. Asking a lot of questions and being curious is the difference between making a fortune and just making a living. Okay, you got to ask questions. And if you read the scripts, they're all question based, right? It's because we're asking questions. But you have to be curious as well. Tell me more about that. What's that going to do? How's that going to change this and this? You got to be curious. Ask questions and being curious. I also took that from a personal level that even outside of work, if you want to grow yourself as a person or grow your business, grow your brand, grow your name, ask questions to people, okay? You're out there, you're talking to other successful people. Just ask questions about them. It doesn't have to be at your own office, things like that. Just ask questions, be curious. That will help grow you as a person and certainly help grow your career. So I, I thought that was really, really powerful, all right? So the next one was this. And <laughs> it's a great question, okay? What would happen if your seller hired a private investigator to follow you around every day after you took the listing? For some of us, we'd be like, bring it on. You know, sure. For some of us, we might be like, oh boy, okay? But it's just a great question to ask because, you know, if you follow a lot of the systems, you typically have like an 18 step action plan. I'm gonna do X, X, and X, and X to get your home sold. The question is, are you actually doing that? So think about that. If a private investigator, I'm sorry, if your seller hired a private investigator to follow you around after you took the listing, what would they come back with? Would they say, yes, they're actually doing everything they said they were gonna do, they're actively out there trying to get your listing sold, or would they come back and go, they put it on the MLS, right? So 
Think about that. That's a great reminder to hold ourselves accountable. Are we doing everything? So think about that. Maybe there is a private investigator following you around. Huh? Maybe there's a private investigator following me around. It's okay. All right. So I thought that was really good. All right. Here's the next one. This was absolutely fantastic. And I, I, this one really hit with me because I think this is big. Okay? Because I went through this in my life. If you're going to fail, fail forward. Okay? And what he meant by that is, if you're going to fail, fail doing something. Fail at a listing presentation. Fail at prospecting. Fail writing up an offer. Fail at those. Those are doing something. You're active. You're taking action. And you can learn from those failures. And that was the question is, are you learning from your failures? You can learn from those. Don't fail by not trying. Okay? Not doing anything. Not taking action. That's true failure right there. Okay? That's... I'm, I've given up, I'm not doing anything, I'm not actively trying to get business, I'm not taking actions to expand my career, expand my knowledge, okay? That's failing. If you're gonna fail, fail forward. We all fail, fail forward. Fail trying, put forth the effort, do a listing presentation, go out there, prospect, do all that. Fail forward, that powerful stuff, right? Sitting around doing nothing, that's failing, okay? But learn from your failures, but you can only do that by taking action, right? So that was a good one. And the last one that I want to go over today was this. Thinking like a real estate person generally leads to non-productivity and thinking like a professional salesperson leads not only to productivity, but income. All right, I'm going to read that again. Thinking like a real estate person generally leads to non-productivity and thinking like a professional salesperson leads not only to productivity, but income. And I think that's absolutely true. I've said this in videos in the past and you've heard this from other people in the past that the problem with most real estate agents is you're not professional, okay? You don't dress professionally, you don't act professionally, you don't put in the work, I'm an independent contractor, right? And, but you don't treat yourself like an actual employee, like an actual worker and having a set schedule. If you think like a professional salesperson, you'll be productive. Because think about this. Nationally, real estate agents, 50% of real estate agents nationally, those that have a real estate license, close zero transactions in a year. 50%, half of Real estate agents nationally don't close transactions in a year. And here's the thing, 80% of them close two or less. So nationally, only 20% of real estate agents close three or more transactions per year. So that fits into what this says. If you think like a real estate person, generally that leads to non-productivity because the numbers show it, okay? 80% are closing less than three deals a year. That's thinking like a real estate person. Think like a professional salesperson. They want a professional salesperson to sell their home, to help them buy a home, all right? Changing that mentality, that will lead to more productivity and income. Treating yourself like a salesperson, dressing professionally, acting professionally, okay? You're a salesperson, you're not like a real estate agent, just an independent contractor that's not sitting around, I'm sorry, that's just sitting around doing nothing, all right? So I thought that was really powerful. So those were five. Those were five statements that really stuck with me amongst you know, thousands and thousands of other pages of notes. But those five really stuck with me the most and I really brought home. So I wanted to share those with you. And hopefully one or two of those or maybe all of those are gonna stick with you as well. So if you were at the retreat, please send me your takeaways below. Some statements that really stuck with you, that are really powerful because I think it's great to share this kind of information that can help us grow and help us expand our business, all right? So that's your three things Thursday for the week. Please subscribe to my channel so you get all my coaching videos, usually a couple a week. I can't wait to speak to you again next week about some other topics and other things I learned from the My Carry Superstar Retreat. Have a wonderful week.